in the kitchen. Oh, are we saying it together? <laughs> Uh, I'm Chef Justin. And I'm Chef Kyle. And today we have a real special treat for you, don't we, Chef Kyle? That's right, Chef Justin. We're talking about air fryers. Mmm, fried air. That sounds delicious and low calorie. <laughs> <laughs> no, you magnificent simpleton. We're talking about cooking with hot air. But before we get into that, let's talk about today's sponsor. Oh, we're sponsored today. That's right, Mirror Twins makes videos on some sort of large video sharing social media website. You mean YouTube? Yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. Anyway, give them a like, comment, share, and subscribe. They appreciate it, and so do we. That's us. What? <laughs> <coughs> I can't keep that up. I could do it all day. <coughs> yes, today we're going to be talking about air fryers. A very popular kitchen appliance. I would say mm. it's taking kitchens by storm, really. Yeah, I mean, I saw them rolling around in their tanks and their little weapons. And <laughs> like forcibly <laughs> taking them over, okay. It's like a air fryer blitzkrieg. It is. Air fryers were first introduced to the world by Philips back in 2010. And since then, it's become the go-to, I think, kitchen appliance. Well, the whole point was to be healthier, right? That was how they sold it. Let's talk about this. What is an air fryer? How does it work? Why is it different from, say, an oven, a toaster? oven or anything else. You can use all dry ingredients and you can use no oil and you still get that crispy kind of fried taste. So it doesn't actually fry your food, it just gives that fried taste to it. And it's texture. Yes. What makes it an air fryer and not a convection oven or a broiler or anything else is that it has two components. It has the heating elements, like a toaster oven or anything else, but then it has a fan that blows the air around it. They're small, so they heat up really quickly. And the idea is, as Kyle said, it crisps the outside and then leaves the inside kind of tender and juicy if you know what you're doing. Yeah, like fried foods, like french fries or whatever. Yeah, so it has that crispy texture, but without all the oil. You can cook it without oil, though it doesn't suggest that. Um, but it is possible. There are two different types. There's option A, which is the basket style. Even though it's a deep basket like that, you actually don't fill it with oil like you would a regular traditional deep fryer. And then there's the convection oven kind. Big Bertha. They do the same thing. They both have the heating elements and the fan. It's just one has a little more bells and whistles and one's it just air fries. So your behemoth does other things. It can be a toaster oven. It can do other things. It can things. do rotisserie. It can do, mine's a cheapo. It just does air frying. So tell us, what do you use it for? Air fried tofu, depending on the way you make it. Some people have a problem with it, but air fried tofu is very good because it gets rid of that nasty, slimy, wiggly yeah. gelatin <laughs> yeah, texture. It's, it's crispy. It's soft in the middle. It's more like a consistency closer to a French fry, where it's crispy on the outside, and then it's, you know, just a little bit soft, but not like goopy. We also make homemade French fries with it. And okay. then we recently discovered a much easier and quicker way to make the same thing. You'll share that with us today? Oh yes, that's what we're cooking today. Yes, we're actually going to try to cook a few things to show you the differences. Oh, I'm not trying. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm going to try. I'm going <laughs> to attempt. So what I have is the convection oven type and it comes with a plethora of accessories and different things you can do. This particular model has a rotisserie rotating option to it, mm -hmm. and it's just a button you push to add to whatever cooking you do. And there's a little motor on the side, you hook it in like that, and you use different, but all this stuff comes apart. Mm -hmm. And you can put it in different, so you can put skewers on there. For this one, this is more like fries or something. So you just lock it in like that, stick it in there, and it'll You'll rotate. toss the fries. Through. Yes, I'm reminded of Master of the Flying Guillotine. And this is just a little stand it comes with. This does not go in the air cooker at all, but you unscrew that. You can do different types of kebabs. Uh, yeah. You can do vegetable kebabs mm -hmm. if you wanted to. You stick it in there and it rotates it. I will say, make sure this is down all the way. It also has the deep basket like yours. Because the handle's not included, it goes in like this. And then this locks over so you don't accidentally drop it. So that's how you get it in and out. This is for your basket. When this is going, this is how you take it in and out. If you take this bar off of this, mm -hmm. this completely comes out. You can rotisserie 
a chicken. So you can put that on there, skewer the chicken like that. You do have to stick the bar all the way through the chicken. We haven't done that yet. I don't know how easy or difficult that is. For regular everyday air frying, it does come with two levels. So you can do multiple layers. So, so. you can do like a, what I'm doing today is broccoli on one side and chicken on another. I forgot to mention here that you can't actually fill up one of the trays completely with food. The air has to have enough room to move around to cook everything properly. Let's get back to the show. The final thing, it has the drip tray. Mm -hmm. You just put it on the bottom. You can cover that in foil so that you're not constantly cleaning this. And this is all like hand clean. You can machine wash this stuff. I thought the Teflon you put. Is I don't like to. And then of course it has directions in different languages, quick startup guide. It actually comes with a recipe book. I found that the recipe book, just play with it a little. Don't go exactly by it. We've burnt some stuff, we dried some stuff out. So we usually use recipes we find online and it seems like it's people have done it a couple times already yeah. made all the mistakes. Every recipe we tried, which isn't that many, but they were pretty much perfect. Why is that? Why is that the ones that come officially from them never are right? I've noticed microwaving chicken nuggets for the kids. I don't go by the instructions in the bag because it always <laughs> overdoes it. Which style is best for you, whether you want the basket kind or the convection oven kind? Well, it depends on you, what you plan to do with it, and how much money you want to spend. How much money you want to spend. These obviously are simpler, so they're cheaper, and they're on the cheaper side, whereas the convection oven kind usually is in the $80 to $100 and much higher. In fact, air fryers in general can range anywhere from $40 to $300, depending on what you want. Your kind is a... This is a crown full. Crown full of deliciousness. Deliciousness, there you go, whatever that means. They make lots of different varieties, and this is one of the simpler ones, one of the cheaper ones. And why'd you choose red? Because it was the cheapest one. It they, was, what, $8 cheaper than the black one? I think one. it was $8 cheaper than the black one. Yeah. So how much was it? This is, right now, as of recording, this is 59 on Amazon. My product is the Sur La Table, or C'est Le Début, and it is around 140 to 160 $60. Yeah, we, three of these. we found Almost. ours on sale though. They had a bunch of air fryers on sale at Costco. Disadvantages of air fryers. Go. Um, they're perfect. <laughs> There is no disadvantage. We had another air fryer that was too small. So we, we didn't know about this air fryer thing all the kids were talking about. So we got a really cheap air fryer. I, it might've been the same brand, but it was much smaller. As far as disadvantages, honestly, I can't really think of one. I have disadvantages. One is that especially the convection oven kind, they tend to be larger. They're huge. No matter which air fryer kind you get, they need a lot of space because the fan needs to be able to suck up air. So if you are expecting to put it in the corner of a counter space it really doesn't work it needs room to be able to suck in that air and actually work now i will say this one does have a little bumper to so it makes sure it has so if people room. don't shove it too close right to the wall. and so this one it doesn't need as much i guess because it's not so big mm -hmm. it doesn't need as much room and the other disadvantage i would say is that at least from what i found is that there's a bit of a learning curve because it cooks so fast and it cooks at really high heats you can't treat it the same that you would an oven you can't treat it the same as a toaster oven. You really need to be, it actually says this in the instructions, don't walk away from it. They cook so fast, you can burn stuff really quickly. So you've got to sit there and watch it and really be ready. But it's done in 10, 15, 20 yeah. minutes. And I actually haven't had much of a problem with that. Of course, we get our recipes online, people who have tested this already, and they already tell you how long to do it and everything. Yeah. And so burning stuff, we actually haven't had much trouble. Okay. So one disadvantage there is that I just thought of is that you can't make a ton of food because it has to be a single layer on the bottom. In the picture, it shows like a giant pile of fries and it won't cook because it has to get air on both sides. So you can only put like that much in there? Yeah, so whatever your food is, if you have french fries, you can't have them like stacked. So that's totally false advertising, that picture. Yeah. <laughs> so why is it so deep? For bigger things? Probably for bigger things and air. All right, let's get to some cooking. We'll try Kyle's crown full basket type first. We make french fries, sweet potato fries, we wash the potatoes, peel the potatoes, cut the potatoes, soak them in water for a little bit of time, and then you dry them, and then you roll them in the stuff, the dry ingredients. Well, we found out a way easier way to do that is just get these sweet potato nuggets. So I'm gonna do the same sweet potato fry recipe, except instead of doing the, all the cutting and slicing, we're just gonna use nuggets. And I have our dry seasoning, so no oil. And this has 
tapioca flour. You can use regular flour, but my wife uh, can't have gluten. Cumin and smoked paprika and cinnamon. I call you a sweet potato nugget sometimes. That's weird. Not to his face. <laughs> what a sweet potato nugget he is. Thank you. All right, so here we go. First, heat them nugs. Oh, you have to thaw them out first? Microwave, yeah, it doesn't look okay. frozen. Microwave not included. So we're only gonna preheat for five minutes and bring the temperature up to 400. And then hit power and it starts. All right. All right, so I got the frost off. They're warm now, they're not frozen anymore. And now I have my spices pre-prepared. Through the magic of editing, this will be done. Seal it and then coat it. Whee! This is my favorite part, besides eating it. Open this, it's been preheating for five minutes at 400 degrees. Get it close to an even layer as you can. 11 minutes, 400 degrees. Do that twice, mix it up after it goes through the first 11 minutes and then stir it up a little bit, toss them around, do it again for 11 minutes, it's done. All right, my first cycle is done. Gonna use my wooden spoon. Why again are you mixing it up? Make sure things don't get cooked on just one side. Plus the directions told me to, and I follow orders. Second time, 11 minutes till deliciousness. What I'm cooking today, thinly sliced boneless skinless chicken with just oil, a little bit of salt and pepper, and then some broccoli crowns that are essentially the same way, but maybe a little more spice, maybe some garlic. Pre-washed, pre-cut broccoli, just throwing a little bit in there. Doing a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and I'll do a little bit on the chicken as well. A little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, a little salt, and I mean little, and a little pepper. And, a simple, easy, mix it up. And it might work better if you cut these up a little bit. We're not doing that today. Patiently waiting. Because these have holes in it, we always put it over a paper towel when transferring. So I did do both sides of this, slap it on there. Throw the broccoli on there. I love crispy broccoli, I love it. We're gonna turn it on. There's your temperature gauge. So I'm gonna do 350. This is the rotation for the spit. You can have the light on, light off. And another thing I've read about these is that when you open them up to check stuff, in an oven, that's a big deal. You can ruin certain baking things if you open it up, but these heat and they're so, so quickly and they're so small that opening it up to check something isn't that detrimental. You can bake in these things as well. All right, so I've got it set for 350 degrees at 10 minutes. I'm gonna open it up. You'll hear the fan go off. Put the broccoli at that level and my chicken at that level. Because there's holes in it, the air should circulate and cook them evenly. I'm putting the chicken on top because if it does drip, it'll drip on the broccoli and make it even more delicious and er, er -ness. There it goes. All right, we're all done. Mmm, that looks magnificent. Nice and crispy. So we have some no sugar ketchup, some delicatessen mustard. The only thing we're missing is Justin. <laughs> Stop doing that. I was in the bathroom one time and he did that. It was, <laughs> oh my God. I didn't know. Anyway, let's try it. It's it is crunchy. I want to try it with nothing first. Crunchy on the outside, mm -hmm. soft on the inside, a little bit of a burnt flavor. Burning stuff. I actually haven't had much of a problem with that. Much of a problem with that. Problem with that. You can change that. Just do 10 minutes instead of 11. Mm. No sugar, no corn syrup ketchup is not bad actually. I'm gonna try the gourmet mustard. I do love me some sweet potatoes though. If you're critiquing your own cooking, what would you just say? Uh, I need more potatoes. No. Not enough! And there's not a lot of seasoning. Like, you can do a lot to this as far as what do you want. I wish it could do the two layer thing so we could do double batches. Because if you want more than this, if you're having more company or whatever, then you have to do it in two separate batches. So mm -hmm. that's four times it has to cook because one time mix you, up. Then you mix up and then cook it a second time and then you have to do a whole nother batch. Yours is how big? Five quarts. Mine is a 13 quarts. And you, they do go larger both in both styles. All right, looks like mine has one minute left. Let's check it out. Gotta get my oven glove. So there's a little bit of burning, a little bit of crisping on it. You probably would want to do what he did with his potatoes and rustle them around a little bit. Rustle them. 
Mm -hmm. and everything gets hot. It, it comes with a sticker that warns you of that as well. But you've got a crispy texture on the outside and a gooey texture on the inside. And how long did that cook total? 10 minutes. I'm gonna see if the chicken's done. Hey, I don't even care how it tastes at this point. It looks so good. There is some unevenness that happened with the broccoli, but that's probably because I didn't mix it up. I probably should have opened it up, shifted it around a bit. There's still some softness, but you got a little bit of crispy on the end of the florets. I love that. We're going to cut the chicken, let it cool just a little bit more because you're not supposed to cut hot meat right out of the oven. All right. Look at that. That looks like it's cooked to perfection. 10 minutes did it. You wanna try some broccoli? Let's try some broccoli. All right, what are some advantages or disadvantages to your, what's it called again? A sur la table. Sur la table. Table. Okay. I don't know how you, I don't speak French. It's big, I think is the biggest disadvantage, but I love how you can do multiple things. I just cooked an entire meal in 10 minutes. Not including prep time, of course, but we never include prep time in cooking shows. <laughs> That's for the interns. <laughs> you can make stuff fairly crispy, like we made salmon. Imagine salmon, but with a like, crispier mm. texture on the outside. It was really good. So how is yours to clean? Uh, okay, so you can dishwasher everything. As you mentioned, Teflon, anything that has that Teflon coating you want to be careful with. You make sure it doesn't hit anything metal in the dishwasher, give it plenty of space, or just hand wash it. There's not much to it. That's it. And then you have the drip tray, which is essentially the same thing without the holes. It's not that bad. You can wash this by hand really mm -hmm. quickly or just stick it in the dishwasher between your plates. How about yours? Just put hot soapy water in it and scrub it with a little brush and then set it down to dry. And that has to be hand washed because uh, of the electrical so. components. No, there's no electric in here. Oh, okay. But, but just, it has all this. It's got the spring in it. The inside part. Yeah, I just washed the that inside. That can be probably dishwasher, but you don't prefer to do that. No, I just do it by hand. Air frying in general. Fourth of up four thumbs up if you want to do all that fancy stuff then of course you want yeah. that but this is sixty dollars if right. you get the red one they work really really well everything you've heard about them is true they cook mm. well they cook fast and you can have that fried kind of crispy texture mm -hmm. without all the unhealthy oils. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you found this delicious. Do you have an air fryer? Do you have recipes you can share with us? Let us know in the comments. Until next time, get out of here, you crazy kids. Like, comment, share, subscribe. We'll see ya. Thank you. Let's see. Ding. Food doesn't make that sound. Okay. Depending on how long you cook it. <laughs>